Hello, and welcome to the HEAT Software short video series. My name is Renee Gonzalez, and I'm joined by my colleague, Bao Tran. In today's session, we're gonna cover how to minimize the disruption and the distraction to your end users. So Bao, when I'm talking to customers, part of the challenges that they have with software distribution, software rollouts, software updates is the end user, right? Uh -huh. IT has to somehow minimize the disruption and the distraction to the end user. Plus, IT still has to complete that software distribution task. Can you show me how Heat Landrev can help? Sure, there's a lot of options in the package definitions for uh, Landrev packages that allow you to control a lot of various items about how the packages interact with the end user when they actually install and those kinds of things. So let's just quickly take a look here. So for example, a lot of products allow you to force a package to only install when someone is logged in, right? So that makes sense if you know the, the package is user dependent, it's gonna put a lot of things in the current user's profile. However, we actually let you do the opposite of that, which is force a package to only install when no one's logged in. It might be a really large package from Adobe or something like that. The device might be tied up churn with a hard drive churning for half an hour to an hour. Obviously, you don't want that to happen in the middle of the day at 10 a.m. or something when folks have just come into the office. So you want that to run when no one's logged in. Uh, your other options are also to install after hours. So you can set a time window that's going to minimize the disruption of the end user because chances are they're not going to be there past 6 p.m. Um, some other options are if the package is you know an optional package you might want to consider making it on demand so that's what this checkbox here is for what exactly does on demand mean what on demand does is it allows you to take a package assign it to a group of devices and the user is responsible for going in and install it installing it on their own timeline so they trigger it themselves it doesn't matter if they're a standard user uh, or a power user or an admin, it doesn't matter. The package will install under whatever user context you specify. And in here, you're gonna basically tell the package to install as an admin. So anybody can install a package without even being an admin user on their own machine. Oh, so this prevents like end users like myself from installing software directly from the internet, right? I don't well, have to do that anymore. Now I can go to yeah. this on-demand place where IT yeah. has approved it, they packaged it. Yeah, and night. they've assigned it to your device and you can just click on it, get a description and install it. And I'll show you right now what, what it actually looks like in, in the UI. So there, there's actually a control panel and there's a button in here that says show on-demand packages. And if you click on that, it'll bring up an on-demand UI that lists off what's actually available for your client device. And then you'll be able to pick and choose from that list what you'd like to install. And so here you can see I've got Active Pearl and Adobe Reader on here. So I would just check the items I want and then just click OK and those packages would indeed install on the end user device regardless of their user context. Um, it doesn't matter. The other thing also is there's other options also to allow um, the user to interact with the package in various different ways. So for example, most of the time, for things that are mandatory, you probably want to force it down on the end user, just push it down silently. So that's what the user interaction option is. So you're not going to tell the user you're, you're going to install the software at all. However, other times it might make sense to inform the user about the installation so that they know something is happening on the client device. This might make sense for really large packages. It might also make sense for laptop users because you don't want them you know, pulling out the ethernet jack or, you know, closing the machine, putting it down to sleep, and just walking away in the middle of an installation. That's probably gonna cause the installation to fail. So this will put up a progress bar at minimum. There's an option here for the progress bar. And that'll let the user know that something's going on and you know they shouldn't shut down the machine right in, right in the middle of it. Another option is they can reschedule it for a time that makes more sense for them. And of course, we have to balance that with the IT department's needs of having to get the software on there. So of course, if you allow users to reschedule, you know, there's options for setting deadlines also. So obviously, if the time window moves, or if the current time moves out of that time window, LandRev will install the package anyways, because it needs to get on the client device. So that's just some of the options that are available to IT. Great, thanks. That concludes today's session, and we look forward into you joining us in future sessions.